Hey guys, welcome to my channel. You know, sometimes people think and wonder to themselves, especially even as believers, we can get tired. Oh gosh, I'm going through this, I'm going through that. Why is this next trial happening? Why is the waiting period, the patience, the waiting period is so long, patience seems just like it's just, just going into, you know, it's, it's just beyond what we can bear sometimes. and. The things that we have to um, deny ourselves in this world, you know. The funny thing is, there's so many things in this world that we can enjoy and really live happy lives. But it's hard really to see it because we're used to doing certain things. Like some people just can't see, see anything in being with one partner. Well... Why would I want one partner when I can have like six or seven? Why would I be sober and just sip on lemonade and enjoy my evening when I can get drunk, you know, get get belligerent and throw up later and wake up in my vomit? You know, it's amazing how we don't see the self-destructive path that we can take even things as simple as just telling the truth well why should i tell the truth and just be honest about it when i can lie manipulate and just keep it going and then you know cry and still be lying just something as simple as telling the truth is not easy so guys sometimes we look at the things the sufferings and the things that we go through as believers and the ridicule and the humiliation and the people that we lose in our relationships and you say god why why does it take all that? Why do I have to do this? The sinner will argue and say, well, why do I have to, why can't I just live how I want to live? Why can't God just accept me? If he loves me, he should take me as I am. He's taking you as you are right now in this world and giving us the opportunity to change our ways because we cannot enter into heaven. God is not going to open up the gates of heaven for, for filth and for um, a person who is forward, that means you are just habitually disposed to doing wrong, to go the crooked path. People, you need to realize that your spirit, I've done a video like this before, but the Lord is calling me back to it. The reason why we have to, it's important that we do things God's way or not. Okay, you don't do it, then that's on you. You cannot enter into heaven like that because you have to realize that you are spirit. So if you are lying, thieving, fighting, conniving, cheating, backbiting person, you are going to be that way exponentially when you are spirit. You don't just turn into a cute little baby cherub, okay? So guys, you're spirit. So that's why God is trying to get us and teach us and help us through the power of the Holy Spirit now to be to be transformed into his image and to do things his way so you'll be fit to enter into the kingdom of God. So guys, I want to talk to you about a few things. I'm going to read a couple things. So Ecclesiastes 12 and 7 says, Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return to God who gave it. We are spirit, guys. We're spirit. We're spirits. So there's certain disciplines and things that we have to do to deny our flesh, the worldly lust and pleasures, the habits and things so that our spirit man can grow and follow after the things of God. Because guys, when we die, you're going to go back to eternity. You're going back into eternity. And however you lived, whatever, if you allowed your, yourself to just be a raving lunatic and a lying and deceitful person, then guys, there's eternity. You can't enter into heaven this way. Matthew chapter 10 and 28 says, Jesus says, do not fear them which kill the body, but not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. This is to let you know that we're just, you're not just a body. You just, what you look at in the mirror is just your earth suit. Who you are on the inside is a person, that spirit, that's <laughs> who you are, the person that likes to 
argue and rave and rant against the word of God and the principles of God and curse God and argue with God and try to cheat God and try to, you know, belittle God, that person, that party is going to come out when you die. So where's it going to go? Think you're going to enter into heaven like that? That is why the disciplines and the things that we go through right now as Christians, as believers, it is conditioning our spirit man preparing us so when we shed the suit that needs this world we shed this body that needs to eat needs to sleep and the immortal man comes out we will hear well done but God has given us an opportunity now through the you know I heard one of my sisters oh I forgot her name When her name pops up, I'll, I'll mention it. But guys, we just have to realize that we are here and we're being prepared. So when God tells us, tell the truth, apologize, uh, turn the other cheek, remove yourself from these individuals, this company, these people. I need you to witness, do this work, do that work. When God speaks to you, however he speaks to you guys, it's important that you listen because that is all a part of the preparation. You are conditioning your spirit man and getting your spirit ready, fit to enter into the kingdom of God. Now guys, I wanna to talk to you all about something. It's gonna be here in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And I'm gonna start at verse 40. It actually goes down quite a bit. This scripture, I would encourage you to read it on your own i'm just going to read this so you can understand what i'm saying about how we are spiritual beings so here in first corinthians chapter 15 at 40 it says i'm sorry let me let me start at 39 all flesh is not the same flesh but there is one kind of flesh of men okay so that's people male and female another flesh of beasts, another of fishes, and another of birds. There are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial. <laughs> Guys, terrestrial ain't new. The Bible's been talking about this for a good hot minute. But the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon and another glory of the stars. For one star differeth from another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption and it is raised in incorruption. Okay? It is sown in dishonor and raised in honor. That means we're going to die, but we're going to raise up incorruptible. It is sown in weakness. We are weak and frail now, but we'll be raised in power. And that's whether you are being raised up as a child of God or you're raising up as a person that lived your life doing whatever you want to do. You're in spirit. Okay? It is sown in the natural body, but raised a spiritual body. Okay? There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. And I'm going to go over here, guys, and I'm going to at 50. Now, this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither does corruption inherit incorruption. So, guys, spiritually, I want to tell you this. Our flesh and blood, this thing that we like to feed, will not enter into, will cannot enter into the kingdom of God, okay? And what's corrupt, if we have a if we have a corrupt nature, if your nature is corrupt, you like to lie, you like to steal, you like to sleep around, you like to try to twist the word, you like to you hate people, you hate certain races, you hate certain you you just you just crooked. The things that you want to keep, the, the habits and things you want to keep, these are the things that God is trying to get out of us now. That corruption, 
that that doesn't feel good to the flesh because when we do this then we can end only that which is incorruptible and what's pure shall enter in to the kingdom of God. So he is giving us now, this is like our training ground. This is where we train up. This is where we get all that corruption out of us, but it feels foreign and it doesn't feel good. It feels overbearing and it feels awful because we are in an in, we're in a corruptible state uh, a corruptible body that's driven by its senses trying to do spiritual things but I'm here to tell you your spirit man on the inside will embrace it but when the soul wants to follow after what it wants to follow after if you if you tell your flesh we're going to read this word and we're going to do this regardless of how it wants to sleep and it wants to kick against it it wants to watch TV then guys as you do that I'm trying to tell you your spirit man is going to grow and then when you do these things even though they laugh at us now even though they they will taunt us now my brothers and sisters when we leave this earth whether we we give our last breath or when we are caught up to meet the Lord in the air then you're it's going to be worth it it's going to be worth it but guys those of you that's just arguing about the word and countering it and trying to find fault in it and well, why we got to do this and why we got to do this and why is it taking so long? Guys, it's because corruption cannot enter into the kingdom of God. It is a process. It takes time. It's a part of just letting the flesh die. Because guys, at the end, it's going to be worth it. Right? We're going through all that we're going through now so that we will not see when, so we can, so when we are incorruptible, when we, and we enter in and we see, we, I'm getting all flustered trying to explain it. The things that we're doing and the things that we're going through right now, denying our flesh, the ridicule, losing folks, maybe losing you know, a husband, a wife, because they don't want to follow Christ. You lose friends. You lose, you know, just your great position in life because you love the Lord. It's not that the Lord wants you to go through that. It's just people, people setting their standards. They're like, well, they're drawing their lines. Oh, well, if you believe in God, then I'm not going to be with you or I'm not going to follow you. So where do you stand? So we go through these things and we lose these things, my brothers and sisters, because we're going to gain something that is incorruptible, that is lasting, that's going to be worth everything that you and I could ever go through, even death. It's not that I am saying, oh, yeah, I'm ready for death and I want to die or bring it on. It's not that, my brothers and sisters, but the disciplines and the things that we're going through right now is to prepare our spirit it is just to strengthen our spirit it is to remove those things that are displeasing to the lord we discipline ourselves now because we will shed this earth suit and the eternal man that comes out whether that man is pure before the lord and therefore can enter into the kingdom of god or enter into his rest we're going to raise up that same line, corrupting person you was, cussing, make and, and raising your fist at God. You're going to come out and you'll be that same way in spirit, but you cannot enter in. So where else are you going to go? So guys, I will close out this video right now by saying, rejoice in the things that you go through now. Stick to it. Stick to it. You're doing this for your eternity. And the thing about it is the things that we cannot do, that's impossible for us to do. The Holy Spirit, the Comforter that Jesus mentioned in John chapter 14, 15 and 16. The Comforter is here to give us that supernatural strength and give us the endurance that we need to make it. We just have to be willing. We're being prepared for eternity. We're being prepared for our eternal home. We're being prepared to stand before God uh, faultless and in our glorious form as described here in the word of God 
All right, hope this makes sense. I'm sure someone will still argue it. That's okay. Um, all right, bye.